Now, a lot of people are wondering about trick-or-treating. It is Halloween, after all, for that part of the story. What towns are doing it, what towns aren't. The response here is Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi there, Lee. Good morning. Yeah, we're kind of be, going to be talking about Halloween this morning because technically it is Halloween, but here in the town of Topsom, where I am right now, they're postponing it until next month, Friday, sp specifically November 3rd. And that is because yesterday they were really hit hard by this storm. 80% of the town lost power. Uh, many of those homes and businesses are still without power this morning, as well as street lights are in uh, are off. The streets are in the dark in the area, and many parents voice that they were worried about letting their children outside to walk around not only in the dark, but around all of those debris on the ground uh, with the trees down and the fallen wires down at the same time. It just made for too much of a dangerous obstacle course. So the town decided it's pushing its Halloween parade and trick or treating back to Friday, November 3rd, because it still believes that it's going to take several days for cleanup and restoration of the power to happen. But knowing the dangers I've seen around town, the amount of power lines being pulled from homes, trees down, I think it's vitally important that we let our crews clean up and we don't take a risk of any child walking up a driveway in some sort of arcing wire, all of a sudden get power back to it or something crazy happen. Now, this isn't the first time that Maine, many towns of Maine had to switch around their holiday schedule when it came to Halloween. Five years ago, Superstorm Sandy, it uh, made Kittery rethink its plans and they actually held Halloween early. And then just the year before that, several towns in Maine postponed Halloween festivities because of a nor'easter that passed through. And we aren't the only ones who are experiencing postponement this year. Massachusetts and New Hampshire, many towns there are also pushing back Halloween. If you want to check about your neighborhood, your town, though, you're encouraged to check the Facebook pages of the first responders, police and fire, and you can also check with your town officials. The police and fire departments are definitely busy with many other things at this time. Amanda, I'll send things back over to you. All right, Katie, thank you. Good news is you can get that discounted candy before Friday.